Today, I will tell you about a film called Simple Passion, where a young mother meets a Russian man and follows all his orders. Over the past year, Helen has been hoping that her lover will call her. She leads an ordinary life with a good job and a son, but she feels like she's living in a dream. During sleepless nights, Helen remembers her trip to Porto, where she had a great time. When her son went to study, Alexander came to visit, and they spent time together. On the way to the cinema, Helen falls asleep and imagines Alexander lying next to her. Her friend noticed Helen's loneliness and suggested she download a dating app to find a boyfriend. However, Helen cannot stop thinking about Alexander. Her friend advises her to forget him since Alexander is married and will eventually return to Russia to be with his family. Helen says that a long time ago, a lover came to her aunt and she was proud of her for it. After a while, Helen receives a call from Alexander, who makes an appointment with her. In 20 minutes, Helen happily agrees and puts on her best clothes. Alexander arrives at her house, and Helen cannot contain her feelings, so they spend time together. Later Alexander gets dressed, looks at Helen and leaves. Helen is awakened by her son, who cannot get home because she locked the door to prevent him from seeing Alexander. In her free time, Helen writes a novel, but her meeting with Alexander replays in her head. She decides to search for his photo on the internet and finds one where Alexander is, standing next to his wife. The next day, Alexander visits Helen again. Lying on the bed, he tells her he has never experienced such feelings and is very glad he met her. On weekdays, Helen is forced to go to work and then rushes to Alexander. After drinking alcohol, they make love again. Before leaving, Helen gives Alexander a love letter, which he must read later. Alexander calls her gift very sweet, but says he needs to leave for his wife. Inside the note, Helen admits that she thinks about Alexander every day. Helen decides to start learning Russian to become closer to Alexander. During a new meeting, Helen jokingly calls Alexander a spy, but he replies that he is not a spy. When Helen asks how a man with many prison tattoos ended up in the embassy, Alexander avoids answering and says that the French are afraid of the Russians in the start of the war. But Helen is different, she's not afraid of him, which is why he's with her. I don't know when we'll see each other again. Do you see? Helen says she is always happy with Alexander and doesn't care that he has a wife and that only Alexander decides when they can see each other. In Russia we don't like to be weak. Alexander gets up and admits that he doesn't know when they can meet again because he and his wife are leaving for Moscow for three weeks, maybe longer. Helen gets very upset, and each day that follows she feels as depressed as possible. To distract herself, Helen asks her son to go on a short trip. Everything in the city reminds her of Alexander. When Helen comes to church, she cannot hold back her tears. A woman notices Helen and asks her to make three wishes, assuring her that at least one wish will come true. Helen listens to the woman and throws a note with a wish. After a while, Helen receives a call from Alexander. She immediately allows her students to leave and quickly gathers her things. Alexander allows Helen to get into his car. She wonders if he's afraid someone will see them, but Alexander answers no. Helen comes up with the idea to film Alexander so as not to forget him when he leaves. When the couple arrives home, Alexander changes a lot. He doesn't like that Helen dresses in clothes that might attract other men on the street. Helen doesn't understand if she really needs to sit at home forever and wait for his call. Alexander orders her to never wear such things again, after which he grabs her and they spend time together. In the evening, a friend calls to make sure Helen will visit her, but Helen says she really wants to meet Alexander and cannot come. The next time she meets Alexander, she asks about his personal life because she is very interested in what kind of person he is. Alexander says he lives on Taya Street in the center of Moscow. Helen understands that she and Alexander are completely different people, but she isn't afraid of this. Her friend tries to convince her that she needs to end this relationship, but Helen cannot be persuaded. After their next meeting, Helen tells Alexander she loves him. He does not reciprocate and asks her not to call his number again. Helen fears this is their last meeting and asks him to stay with her the whole night. But Alexander needs to leave. 
Helen tells her friend about their last meeting, and the woman suspects that Helen is blind, and may not see that Alexander does not love her. To vent all her anger, Helen beats the ground. After a while, Helen takes her son to school but receives a message, hoping it is from Alexander. She loses track of her car and nearly hits her son. Alexander comes to her, but Helen doesn't want to let him in. He grabs Helen and convinces her to open the door after which they spend time together. For the next few weeks, Alexander does not call her, so Helen calls the embassy herself. Hearing her name, the woman on the other hand hangs up. Helen calls again and demands to see Alexander. When Alexander answers the phone, she makes an appointment. At the appointed time, Helen arrives at the hotel, but Alexander never comes. Turns out he secretly left for Moscow. Helen walks around the city all night, tears in her eyes. Her son wonders where his mother has gone. He doesn't understand what is happening to Helen, and the boy calls his father. He doesn't like that Helen is a bad influence on their son, so he takes the son for himself. Even though she lost her son, Helen still hopes to meet Alexander. On the street, she sees Alexander and every man, even imagining he is next to her. When she returns home, she lies down on the ground where his car used to be parked. Autumn has begun. Helen wants to get a doctor's note to avoid going to work. The doctor sees that she is unwell and asks her to tell her story. Helen talks about her relationship with Alexander. Ultimately, Helen decides to buy tickets to Moscow to try to find Alexander. Sitting on a bench on Tversky Street, she peers at Russian women but never manages to find Alexander. Eight months later, Helen and her son reconcile and he lives with her again. She has almost forgotten Alexander, but all her attempts to start a new life are ruined when Alexander calls her on the phone. Helen immediately asks her son to go to his grandmother. The son doesn't want to go, but Helen forces him to leave. After a while Alexander comes and they spend time together again. Helen offers to stay with her until the morning, but he refuses, and Helen takes him to the hotel. Alexander admits that he loves her, but Helen understands that they are unlikely to see each other again. This point the film comes to an end. Thank you for watching.